So guys, I came up uh, through an, another really cool analogy the other day, uh, calluses versus blisters. And, I, and you've probably all experienced these before. Uh, and there's a, a subtle nuance to that. So when you did something for the first time and you weren't really used to it perhaps, and maybe you overdid it and it was just beyond what you're able to do, maybe you put a pair of new shoes on and you walked in those shoes all day, you ended up getting blisters. You weren't able to rise to that, that challenge and you developed sort of a pain from it. And then the callous side of things is sort of, it was just hard enough that your body reacted and built up against that stressor. So like let's say we, everyone knows when you're working hard outside for many, many years, you start to build up more callous hands. Same thing when it happens in the gym. So you really wanna pick things that give you calluses, not blisters. So we've talked about this in another capacity before, consistency and you know progressively challenging yourself versus going really intense. There's a difference there because you're more likely to get hurt if you go too intensely. You're more likely to be deterred from continuing. You're making it less attractive for yourself to do that if it's too hard every time you need to do it. So go back to things that are a little bit more within your range, just challenging enough, build up your capacity. You can rise up to that challenge and you build up the calluses. So it's better to pick things that will give you calluses than things that give you blisters. Thank you.